we've learned from our inmates that one of the biggest obstacles they face as they re-enter back into society is they have a difficult time getting their Florida identification or Florida driver's license. They lack the documentation required to obtain those documents. Who better to say, hey, we know who this person is because we fingerprinted them. Today, we're gonna remove an obstacle and help individuals be more successful by making sure 60 to 70 female inmates today get that Florida ID. Part of removing obstacles in that pathway to success is yes, we get them the Florida ID, but again, restoring a sense of pride, letting them know that somebody cares. So today, they're not gonna get their photos taken in their orange uh, detention center jumpsuits. We're gonna put a scarf around so that won't be what's part of their permanent record as they move forward and try to again reintegrate back into society and do it successfully. Yeah, whenever you do something nice for somebody, you're always going to have skeptics that come out and want to know who's paying for it. This is inmates taking care of inmates. This is inmates helping inmates. This comes from the inmates canteen fund. So the total cost of today's operation is being covered by inmates. Yeah, this is something that we want to do. Once we learn that this was a prevalent problem, we're going to do it four times a year to make sure we're helping as many people as we can.